tonight the NFL schedule was released. We're going to do a preview later on of the entire schedule week by week. My concern for tonight, it's the 49ers, our local team, the team we root for. My hope coming into the schedule release was no international games. And I'm happy to say there's no international games, there's no Thanksgiving game, there's no Christmas game. And last year we had Thanksgiving and Christmas. I thought that was a little much. Week one, 49ers get the Jets. Aaron Rodgers coming back to the Bay Area. At this point, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, and I don't think 49er fans care. It's more of a thing for Aaron Rodgers because of his history here. and I just don't like a Monday night game to start. The 49ers should be playing on Sunday, not Monday. It's a 5-15 game local. And to be honest, I just don't like waiting. I don't like waiting for that first game. I mean, put us at least on Sunday night. Don't put us on Monday night. And I know the NFL is trying to make a more of a concerted effort to put big time games on prime time. And that's what they intended to do last year. And I don't know how superstitious everyone is, but you know, Rodgers got hurt on Monday Night Football last year in week one, and here you have him on week one again. And for those of us who remember, the 49ers hosted the Jets. It was an afternoon game in 1998. The Garrison Hurst game, that's the last time the Jets were here for an opener all those years ago, and that was a great game. Week two, 49 hours at Vikings. 49 hours play terribly in Minnesota, historically bad in Minnesota. I have never even seen the 49ers in my lifetime win in Minnesota. The last time they won was 1992, and Steve Young was quarterback. Week three, the Rams. Well, at worst, it's a neutral game in Los Angeles. Then week four, they come home for an afternoon game against the Patriots. Week five, it's... Another home game against the Cardinals, week six, at Seattle, and it's a Thursday night game. This was one of my gripes and complaints even last year. I said, oh, we have to have two years of Thursday night football games in Seattle? Oh, let's go ahead and make it three. I was just talking about this last week in a conversation about the schedule. Please, can we break the tradition of primetime games in Seattle? It's not a good tradition anymore. The 49ers go up there and win, and the Seahawks are an average football team at this point. We don't need any more primetime games with the 49ers and Seahawks right now. At least not until the Seahawks are better again. And if you're going to do it, could you at least do it here? Could you even make it a Monday night game? No, it has to be three consecutive years in Seattle. And let me guess what the 49ers are going to wear. They're going to wear their white on white 94 roads. And can we please at least be spared of the Seahawks wearing neon green? And I don't like it either because it's just been worn out. It's been worn out, and it's not a rivalry. It's been a domination recently. And if we're being honest, going back to the, the Harbaugh years and after the Harbaugh years, the Seahawks dominated the 49ers. There was a little rivalry there in the Harbaugh years, but it became 
impossible for the 49ers to win up there. Okay, on to the Chiefs, week seven. What can you say? The 49ers haven't been able to beat the Chiefs. It can't be Patrick Mahomes. But you get to see what you're made of right away, right? You get to see and get a test because under this point, it's a pretty soft schedule in my opinion. Is Kyle Shanahan better coach than Andy Reid? Has he learned from his mistakes? And you know what history tells us? That Andy Reid is a better coach than Kyle Shanahan. And Kyle Shanahan doesn't learn from his mistakes. Brock Purdy's a very good quarterback. Patrick Holmes is a better quarterback. Chris Jones gives the 49ers all kinds of fits. And Steve Spagnuolo. Steve Spagnuolo has kicked Kyle Shanahan's butt in the two Super Bowls. At least we don't have to wait to the Super Bowl to know if the 49ers can beat the Chiefs, right? You'll find out in the regular season. And that's most likely the first loss of the season. I do get a feeling, though, they're going to lose. They, they could lose one of those games on the road. The back-to-back -back Vikings or Rams. I could see that happening. I would be very surprised if 49ers win this. Then a week later, Sunday Night Football. We knew this was going to happen. 49ers and Cowboys. It's It's hilarious. I've had this conversation too, saying, oh, for so many years we didn't get 49ers and Cowboys on a Monday night game or on a Sunday night game. No primetime games. Now all they are are primetime games. When you're going back to the playoffs in 2022, the Sunday night game in 2023, and then again, for the second year in a row, Sunday night game, rematch. And it is a little boring that it's three straight times here. I mean, the schedule is what it is. Three straight games and three straight games, you know, in the late afternoon, early evening, same lighting. And I would expect same result. The 49ers are just a better team than the Dallas Cowboys. And... I would love to see a whooping again. Put 40 points up on the Cowboys and you know, Dak Prescott can get pulled from the game. Week 9's a bye. Week 10, this is favorable. You get Tampa Bay later in the season when it is a little cooler. Then week 11 is the second game against the Seahawks. Week 12, this is going to be an interesting one at Packers. You'll know if the Packers are still the team that they looked like at the end of last year by by then. And I actually like getting them later in the season, too. In Green Bay. So many memorable games in Green Bay. But unlike the 49ers that I grew up with, these 49ers can win in Green Bay. Week 13, December 1st, at Bills. Huge game, Sunday night game. We may get weather. Those are two tough road games in a row. Packers and Bills. One of those games will be a loss. Week 14, the 49ers rarely host the Bears. They often go to Chicago. Winnable game. Uh, Rams at home. And that one is a Monday night game. 49ers and Rams. This is also favorable. Week 16. You get the Dolphins at the end of this season. In December. Before. You know, after it's really hot in Miami. 
And there should be some offensive fireworks there. In week 17, week 17, that's late to have 49ers and Lions. Rematch of the conference championship game. And that's a prime time. Oh, did I say Rams and 49ers is a... That's a mistake. That is not a Monday night. That is a Thursday night. Lions of 49ers on Monday night on December 30th. I mean, very late in the season. It's almost too late in the season to see a rematch like that. And I'm very curious to see now that there's all the expectations on the Lions and they appear to have a good football team. How good are they really going to be? And then they finish up with the Cardinals. You know, a lot of people are saying this is going to be a brutal schedule. There are some tough stretches, but I think as long as the 49ers take their biz care of their business early on, they should be fine. I mean, that look at this. At Rams, Patriots, Cardinals, Seahawks. These are games they should win. And I like them in week one against the Jets, even though it should be a close game. They should beat the Cowboys, beat the Buccaneers, take both games from the Seahawks. You, let's just say they lose one of the games against the Packers and Bills. They lose one of the games against the Lions. And Dolphins. I mean, I think the worst you're looking at here is, you know, absolute worst. And you don't know without injuries. I mean, injuries are always going to be what's unpredictable. But what's the worst record they're going to have is 11 and 6. I think most likely you're going to be 12 and 5. And you got a good shot at 13 and 4. I like 12 and 5. But it wouldn't be surprising if they went 13 and 4. I didn't think the Jets would be the first game. I was thinking that it was going to be possibly the Cowboys. Didn't think it was going to be the Lions. I thought it could have been a road game against the Packers. But you get the AFC games two years in a row. You had the road game against the Steelers last year. And then you get the Jets this year and you get Robert Sala coming back and you get Aaron Rodgers overall I'm not that excited about it because you have so many rematches and I like rematches but the same time same day same location mix it up some the main reason I'm not very excited about this season is not because it's a bad football team. This was a very talented team. It remains one of the most talented teams in the NFL. The reason I'm not getting very excited is because the main issue with the team is not the personnel. The issue with the team is the head coach. And I'm not one of those that just says that Kyle Shanahan is trash or he's a poor head coach or anything like that. He's a very good head coach. I remain unconvinced that he is good enough to win it all because he did not learn his lessons from Super Bowl 54 to Super Bowl 58 he was the one that lost that Super Bowl. It wasn't Brock Purdy. It wasn't Steve Wilkes. You can try and blame whoever you want. It was on Kyle Shanahan. That was the most frustrating thing about that Super Bowl. And the honest reason why... It's the reason why I have not come back and done any 49-hour videos since. I just had to, like some 49-hour fans, step away from a wall. The team for a while. They still have my support. Still a huge fan. But when you lose like that. Yeah, you're just, you just don't come into a season with the same excitement or enthusiasm. 
or hope, Kyle Shanahan is responsible. And I question whether he is the coach. I am very doubtful he is to get the 49ers that that elusive sixth Lombardi trophy.